How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I got my client flying back in to do another two days back-to-back -back session because last time he came, we did his whole chest in two days, but this time, we're going to be doing his whole outer sleeve. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. <laughs> Este sí, agárralo, eh, pero lo agarras, pero lo agarras. ¡Ay! ¡Ay, Miguel! ¡Miguel! <laughs> How you feeling, hey, bro? bro? Your setup looks like we're about to make a movie. We are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, dude. oh man. It's the setup, it's key. Well, well, what kind of movie are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> With this music, I don't know, man. <laughs> You do. You say you shave already, huh? Yeah, two days ago, so I had wow. like the little cactus, <laughs> the cactus hair. Well, right let now. me, yeah. let me do another session on that. Relájate, <laughs> relájate. <laughs> All right. You're ready. Me están robando mis rastrillos. Oh, aquí están, aquí están, ¿no es cierto? <laughs> another two days back to back, my guy. <laughs> Damn. And I remember in the last video, I was like, this is probably the longest session I'll ever do. And then you were like, for now. For like, now. Yeah, for now. <laughs> Not lying. Yeah. All right, here we go. So the first stencil didn't go as planned. I put it way too high onto the thigh, so it made it look like it just didn't look right. I was overanalyzing the situation because I was trying to have the demon land on the cover-up area so I can cover it up with that. But I feel like I'm overanalyzing the situation. So what I'm going to be doing is just placing it wherever it lands is gonna land and I'm gonna work uh, the cover up as I tattoo. So um, yeah, don't overthink it. Just place it where I think it's gonna look good. All right, so my main focus is making sure that the stencil lands uh, on an area where it looks uh, aesthetically pleasing. So that's my main focus. Okay, perfect. Yep, I really like the placement. Now it's just a matter of trying to figure out how to make the whole thing happen. So, as far as the, uh, what is it, a cartoon? Uh, anime. Anime. Drawing. So the anime cartoon ended up uh, landing right on the right or left leg of St. Michael's and pretty much the whole entire thing is it's on that. So now what I'm gonna try and figure out is how to create that contrast to really hide that. And that's, that, I think that's just gonna be the most challenging part of the whole thing, which is the actual cover up obviously, but just because where it landed. As far as the whole thing, I really like how everything landed, but what I'm gonna be using is my contrast, my highlights to give it that illusion and, um, and that depth to really cover that up. Woo, ready? Yes, sir. Let's do it. We're starting with the painful area, huh? We're gonna start on the bottom here. Ooh. We're gonna start on the bottom, work my way up there, and yeah. I guess if I did that spot, I guess it's um, yeah, it's not that too bad. Exactly. Oh, I'm gonna post on a. Uh, Oh, wait, I can't. I, I'm, it I'm downloading Twitch right now. Right? Hey, I didn't have that. So. I go live on Twitch. If you, don't have, if you don't have Twitch yet, download it so you can follow me on Twitch and watch me tattoo uh, live 
and I'm gonna be streaming it, you know, for about two hours or so, two to three hours, I am gonna be announcing it, so stay tuned for that. Today, uh, I'm gonna be streaming this. Uh, once I get to a good area where it's like safe to start recording and, you know, so I can chat with everybody, get a little bit personal. And then the next day, we're gonna be doing the bottom, go back on stream and yeah, keep talking so you guys can see, uh, so everybody can see the update on it. And yeah, so it's gonna be fucking sick. All right, let's do it. Day two! <laughs> Morocco va ganando! Bro. Como? What? Hold on. What do you mean? How? Damn, Morocco está pesado, eh? They're stepping it up. Damn, bro. ¿Y quién más juega hoy? 
Francia, Inglaterra. That one's gonna be a good match. That one's gonna be a good match, 100%. Uh, all right, so quick update. I don't think yesterday I recorded too much. Uh, well, I, I recorded a lot, but it was a lot of time lapse. But yesterday was a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of everything. <laughs> We had uh, the cover-up going on and we got a little complicated, uh, a little challenging just because I had to cover up um, the what we had before with nothing but soft tones and a lot of, there was not a lot of texture going on so I had to really take my time and execute it slowly to figure out the contrast and all those little details. But, and then after that I went live on Twitch and it just, it got intense yesterday. Next thing you know, it was like around what, 11 p.m.? Yeah, when we stopped. And then we were just done. Like we were just, I was running on adrenaline and he was just running on nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on just willpower, bro. He was just, that's it. Yeah. He was done. But today, I'm, today I'm gonna take my time and really uh, explain things, how I'm doing certain things and stuff, because today's a lot easier and it's gonna be a lot more fun <laughs> than yesterday. <laughs> yesterday was fun. But today is going to be relaxing fun. Yeah. <laughs> Day number two. Um, today we're going to be doing the bottom part and it's going to be a little bit easier because the placement is straightforward. I don't have to keep turning him around like I did yesterday. That was rough. Being on your stomach, then your back, then on your side. It's tough. And you don't have a cover of your soft texture. Yeah, I don't have to do a cover up today. <laughs> All I gotta do is tattoo. Here we go. So I really like the stencil that we came out, uh, but there is a big gap here. So I'm a, we decided to add a Sagrado Corazon to complete the whole thing, which fits perfect. Yes, sir, look at that. That fits nice. Spontaneous, very spontaneous, but I like it. Update. What I ended up doing right now is just adding my solid black first and one thing I did was basically I I packed it in in between my, my the two lines my two guidelines here of my stencil because on this little empty gap of um, that I left open that's where I'm gonna start making my transition to my medium gray and start fading it out this way and this way because I have my medium grays here so I want to make sure that I have room to do a smooth transition without being too harsh because I need, by the time I reach this area here, I got to make sure that I have my gray, my medium gray. By the time I reach the middle here, it's going to be a little bit less than my medium gray, but still going to be vibrant. And uh, yeah, so that's why I left this little gaps open to give me room to make that smooth transition. Let's do it. Nice. Yeah, 
the reason why I'm, I'm brushing it, I'm also putting in putting pressure though. I'm not just lightly brushing. I'm actually putting pressure, like packing in, like if I was lining. And that is because I don't want to put too much, uh, what is it? Uh, I don't want to irritate the skin too much right here on this corner because I already packed in a whole bunch of black. So I want to be gentle on the skin. There you go, now it's a very smooth transition now. Like it. I like this gray. And I think this is the gray I'm gonna use throughout this whole area. like that tone. It's quite exquisite. It's so strange for a whole outer project. I haven't done a lot of texture. I'm so used to the whole entire piece uh, doing texture. <laughs> Everything is smooth. Everything is so like... smooth in this piece. Why are you doing this to me? Why? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> you dang, yeah, you even did a cover up with. Uh, I even smooth. did a cover up with smooth tones. What is this? <laughs> And now I'm, I'm gonna make my gray a lot lighter just because this area seems like there's a tiny little highlight. It seems like there is a lighter area than the rest of the cheek here. Like if the light is hidden just enough on this corner to make it look like there's a glare. So my, that's why my, my gray is getting lighter. Started with the veil. That's what it's called, right? A veil. Um, didn't Andy tell you yesterday? I think because you were trying to. Ah. Uh, he said it because I. We both said it wrong. Remember? That's right. We'll call it a veil today. <laughs> the the uh, the cloak. <laughs> no, that's for death. No. Um, so I'm gonna get started with that, and the way I'm gonna create the texture of the the clothes or the cloth is by doing that and creating those shapes of filigree that it has on it the designs and stuff so i'm gonna be doing that and i'm gonna be using my mag to give it the folds to give it that illusion that it's folding
Hoy también me sentía a gusto yo. Not no, not my, tired. My, my no, I didn't see. I, I, last night I was tired. I was planning on recording like the last of the day, like, oh, how you feeling? Yeah. But I was like, go home, bro. I want to go home. Yeah, we, I'm pretty sure we always like. Just yeah, we were drained. Hasta, hasta tus coworkers were like. Yeah, <laughs> every, todos, los, todos los de aquí ya estaban ahí todos dormidos. Yeah. yeah. That shit was funny. It was funny. Everybody was drained yesterday. It was a heavy day. But I'm glad we were able to finish in, in a good time, too. ¿Qué hora son? That's what, nine. Damn, never mind. <laughs> we, we got stretched. <laughs> got a little stretched out here. Nice. Ah, desgraciado. Es más difícil sentarse que hacerlo. <laughs> yeah, facts. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Damn, with the flash and everything.